Good chilly morning and welcome to a brand new vlog. So I thought I would check in with you really quick and just let you know what my plans are for this week um, because we are just in a very weird volatile season because we had seven days, a beautiful weekend, um, very, very chilly mornings. Um, and so, you know, obviously I'm in a sweatshirt and sweatpants, but this is really all I have upstairs in my room because I have this kind of stuff folded up and in drawers. Um, but all of my nice fall sweaters and everything are still downstairs in storage. And we keep going back and forth because like tomorrow and the next day, it's going to be 90 and then it's going to rain and Thursday and Friday are going to be in the seventies again. So it just keeps going back and forth and back and forth. And so it's really hard, um, to know how to dress. And so I think I'm going to go ahead and do my wardrobe change out for the season. I'm going to pull, I have like a, I think it's meant for shoes maybe, but it's one of those um, long things that hangs on a pole. You'll see whenever I bring it upstairs. But anyway, I have all of my sweaters in it um, because sweaters like, you know, wool sweaters and cashmere and stuff like that really shouldn't be put on a hanger because it causes the fibers to stretch out. So I fold them and I put them in that. So I'll bring that upstairs and then take some of my summer dresses out of the closet and put those in storage. So I'll still have kind of half and half seasonal wardrobe for summer and fall until this weather can make up its mind and fully cool down to where it's just sweater season every day. And then I'll do my full wardrobe changeover. Um, but that's going to be um, probably on the agenda for today. So I'm going to do the three sister stew, um, which was in my meal plan from last week. So I'm going to cook that today. And so while it's uh, prepared and cooking in the pot, cooking down, that's when I'll go ahead and do my wardrobe change out on my lunch break. Um, also on the agenda for this week, I have basil that is finally ready to be picked and dried. Um, all of the little flower heads that are developing their seeds are starting to brown and dry out. So um, the bees have been going crazy over the basil flowers, but as they dry out, obviously there's no more nectar there for the bees. So I think one plant is still a little behind, but the other few are ready to be picked and harvested. So I will get those done. I will get the basil all hung and dried this week. Don't really have any oregano because the plant died back while I was gone on vacation and it wasn't getting watered. It is a very hardy, well-established plant and it is coming back from the roots, but there just really isn't anything there to cut and dry. It's, you know, this big, um, but it's fine because I always have a ton of oregano. So I still have a bunch left that I harvested last year. Um, and then rosemary really didn't do very well this year. I think I have one plant that is big enough to be harvested and it's actually a holdover from last year. And then the sage I need to look at, I put out a couple of plants, but I don't think they did very well. I think they got the blight in them. Um, but so the basil, at least I'm going to dry. So we're going to do some drying of herbs. I'm going to do a little bit of garden cleanup. I already kind of started that over the weekend and just didn't film it because I was focused on um, doing the fall decor for the weekend vlog. Um, but I do have a lot of stuff that's kind of picked and cut and trimmed back and just stuff that needs, um, you know, picked up out of the yard and then hauled away um, to be basically given to the city dump because so much of my stuff had blight in it that I don't want to put it in a compost pile and encourage it to come back next year. Um, so that is the main agenda for this week. So anyhow, I'm going to go clock into work now and I will be back with you on my lunch break to get to cooking and um, putting up my fall sweaters into my closet.
All right, so it looks like about half of my basil plants are ready. They are starting to brown where these little flower heads have come up, and that means that the seeds are in there and ready to be harvested as well, which is important because I'm saving seeds from as much as I possibly can in my garden this year. Um, one exception is gonna be the tomatoes. Since I did get blight in my tomatoes, I definitely don't want to encourage that to come back next year, so I will buy new seed packets for those. Um, but for a lot of the flowers, the herbs, um, any of my like pumpkin squashes, that kind of stuff that I actually was successful in getting. And I did harvest some radish seeds too. Um, so quite a bit of my stuff, um, I have saved seeds. But anyhow, it is definitely ideal to only have half of them ready at a time because that's less work for me to do all in one batch. Um, and then the rest will follow and probably another week or two they'll be ready. There were still quite a few bees and butterflies and other little insects buzzing around um, some of the ones over on that side. So without further ado, let's get to harvesting this basil.
in this corner now and have a little bit of a sport. <laughs> I'm not mic so hopefully you can hear me but the camera is pretty close um, I've just been going around gathering acorns because I kind of want to try making my own fall garland for my stair rail since I can't buy anything and so I thought I would kind of forage for some stuff I have a lot of limbs that have either fallen out of trees or I've trimmed out of bushes and whatnot so I have a little pile of limbs it's back in the corner of my lot underneath of a tree so I thought I might kind of root around through that and see if I can't find some branches to kind of make um, as the base of my garland and then um, I've gathered acorns now I am noticing that the acorn crop this year has been very very minuscule compared to the couple of years prior like last year and the year before, there were so many acorns falling out of these trees already before September, like starting in mid-August, um, that, I mean, it was literally like they were raining down from the trees, and you could even hear them just a constant smack off the concrete as they landed. Um, and we're definitely not having anything like that this year, so. And they're also a lot smaller. This one is probably about the largest, and it was like a small acorn last year. Um, but anyway, so I'm doing that and I don't know what else I'll put into it. I may end up um, drying some oranges maybe to put in so there's a little bit of color because so far all of the leaves that are falling have been out of the oak trees that are just over my yard and oak leaves don't do anything pretty. They just turn brown and fall off. Um, there is a maple tree in this uh, corner over here that is the neighbor's tree and a lot of its leaves land in my yard too but it just isn't time yet for those. Um, it'll probably be at least another three or four weeks before we really start seeing maple leaves and those are the prettiest. Now the one back here, um, the type of maple that it is, it drops yellow leaves so they're not the prettiest. They're you know not like a bold orange or red or anything like that but um, maybe as the season progresses I'll start this garland and then as it progresses and I start finding leaves that are bright and colorful maybe I'll start collecting those and kind of adding into it. So it might be um, a project that is ongoing throughout the fall since we're just now really starting to get um, items that will work for a fall garland um, but that is what I'm doing anyway so it is time to go clock into work now so I will probably come back maybe on lunch and start kind of sorting through all of the limbs and see what I can find for a base for this garland um, I probably won't start assembling maybe it'll be on the weekend vlog where I start kind of putting this stuff together um, but for now I'm just gathering what we have All right, so it is that time of the week to go over my meal plan for next week and as always I will have the recipe linked below I will have the um, blog post linked below where you can go and download the printable PDF version of this um, but let me just say I am so excited that soup season is back because soups are one of my favorite things to do just because they're really quick and easy. You throw everything in a pot, turn it on, let it cook until it's done. So it's not super complicated. And there are so many different recipes that you could do a different soup every week all through fall and winter and never have to repeat it. Now I wouldn't do that because I know I would get sick of soups if I tried to do that, but it's just my favorite time of year. So at least for cooking. <laughs> but anyway, so next week I'm going to do a Mexican quinoa soup. And it is not fully plant-based the recipe that I will share so I will just kind of share with you my modifications now it does say five cups of either bone broth chicken broth or vegetable broth so obviously just use vegetable broth that'll keep it plant-based um, but the main thing is it calls for I believe it was like a cup of shredded cheddar cheese so what I'm going to do is instead of cheddar cheese I'm going to mix up a batch of my cashew cream or cashew cheese and I think I've shared that on the blog before but or the vlog before but it has been quite a long time so I'll have to make sure that I share do Doing that with you as well for this recipe next week but I'm just gonna pour some of that in and that'll take care of that and it will keep it fully plant-based and then of course as always any oil that's in the recipe I omit if there's something that needs to be sauteed usually onions um, I will use just a splash of vegetable broth 
And really, it's almost more like deglazing the pan because you'll let it cook until it starts to stick and then pour in another little splash and unstick it and just keep doing that until the onions have cooked down. So that is it. That's all there is to it. I am really excited about doing a soup for next week. Um, there will probably be several soups coming up and then also things like baked veggie lasagnas. Like it's just that time of year. So, um, I do as much as I am a springtime person overall, fall is definitely my second favorite time of year. And when it comes to the food, fall is definitely my favorite cooking wise, because I love all of the warm and hearty recipes, um, baked goods. I'm trying to do less of that just because, um, with my age and the issues I've been having with hormones here lately, um, sugar is something that I want to kind of cut back on, but we are going to the apple orchard, <laughs> fingers crossed on Saturday. And so I did this for peach season back in July. It's the exact same orchard. And that was where I had done all of this filming on this really lovely day. And I put my camera away, forgot to turn it off. The entire thing got wiped. I lost all of my footage. So I get to do a repeat this weekend. The problem is there is a tropical storm coming up from the Gulf. And so we're going to get the rain off of that on like Thursday, Friday and into Saturday. So for right now, they're calling for kind of occasional rain showers Saturday morning which kind of stinks because just the way that the timing for apple season falls and with all the other stuff we have going on for the weekends, this is really the only option I have for going and doing this. Um, so we're just going to keep our fingers crossed that the rain kind of holds off and it's not dumping on us so that I can film because obviously you don't want to get camera equipment wet. Plus, you know, I don't want to get myself all soaking wet trying to show you the sunflower fields and stuff. But um, that is the plan is to go to the apple orchard on Saturday. And so after that, I'm going to have probably a half peck of apples. I love the honey crisps. That's probably what I'm going to get. Um, but I want to try doing like an apple pie recipe that doesn't use sugar. Um, so I may attempt that next week as well. If it's not next week, then it'll be next weekend. So it'll be in the next two to three vlogs from now, probably. Um, you'll see that. But anyhow, I'm going to wrap this up and get out to the yard and start doing a little foraging for some limbs for that garland. Thank you. 